Hey everyone, um, I'm just going to do an update real quick. I know there's tons of outlets of great information out there, but um, those of you that aren't friends with the other contacts that are doing information, um, here's my update. I obviously am not there, so I'm getting lots of information from everyone, but I did talk to, to uh, our lawyer team. Um, Ammon's going to be um, finished on Monday. They're going to final, finalize, excuse me, sorry, water, finalize on Monday what, um, what they're going to decide. So Judge is going to do that on Monday. Ryan was denied. I heard he did a phenomenal job, which is heartbreaking because all of his children were there. And that is politics, my friends. That is politics. And that is so sad because he... Oh, boy! Naked boy! You're cold? Okay. Hey, Brink, will you put diaper on, Bubs, real quick? Okay, do put a diaper on him real quick. I'm, I'm live on Facebook, so I can't stop. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys almost got a PG-13. Um, anyways, so Ryan did a phenomenal job from what I what I hear um, from everyone. Even, even our team was like, man, Ryan rocked it. He did so good. He proved that he really should be on pretrial release. And that's, that's just irritating and bothersome. But um, I don't know. I, I want to I want to view it like this. So everyone got love you too, Ida. Hey, Brett. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to view it as Heavenly Father's plan. Right? He has right. He has things for these men to do. Um, I guess still with people that are other people that are um, incarcerated. So. Um, Ryan really is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to the scriptures. He is so awesome, and he has such a strong testimony. And maybe that's why, maybe he, maybe there's still someone in jail that needs him, and that needs um, his passion for the scriptures and for the gospel and for his love for Heavenly Father. So, to all my nieces out there that are his children, you have a very good daddy. And that's why Heavenly Father is keeping him to help others. Look at it that way, okay? I got a phone call. <laughs> Anyways, um, I love you guys. And, I, and I'm proud of you for being there and for supporting your dad so that he can see you. Okay. Oh, I'll help you in just a minute. And um, anyway, so Cliven got denied. I, how in the world can he be... A threat oh my gosh we're talking about a 71 year old man who he's tired and worn out and anyways it's just it's silly hey Kaylee thanks for all of your help man you have been so amazing in helping us um Stacy you want to see the baby <laughs> I have my bags packed and the baby's undoing everything Lice, you want to turn around and say hi? No. No? Okay. Um, anyway, so I am choosing to look at it that way. I am probably going to end up going out uh, and being there on Monday. So if you can be there, I would suggest trying to be there. If, if trial starts on Tuesday, that I am on the witness list, and so there is no way that I'd get to see my husband for for four months um, or maybe not as long and say hi to Emmy <laughs> this is that's Emery anyway so it's it's my last chance of seeing my husband before trial starts and so I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm gonna see him and and then it'll be a miracle if they let him out and then I'll be there and it'll be great yeah. and if not at least I got to see my husband and I'll get to visit with him and and he yeah, can know yeah. how much I love him. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways, that's the update. Uh, there have been some confusion with everybody. There's, there's four guys on trial. 
together in this group. There's also a nut some more other people on on in tier two is what they're calling it. And that's Davy and Mel and Mike and McGuire and oh my gosh, I forgot the last guy. Jason Woods. Jason Woods. They're in tier two. So they're not a part of our our trial. Um so in ours there's Cliven, Ryan, Bundy, Ryan Ammon, and Ryan Payne. So when they the reason the way they say when they say that um, Ryan Payne was denied because he pled out in Oregon. They're talking about Ryan Payne. They're not talking about Ryan Bundy because Ryan and Ammon were acquitted in Oregon. That was our miracle. It's coming, guys. It's coming. So, um, anyways, I want to thank everybody that was there today. My aunt and uncle, Toot and Sid, and all of the family members that came down. People that came from Arizona. Um... People that just came from far and wide to be there today. I heard the courtroom was packed, and I'm grateful for you um, showing support and just being there for our guys and actually witnessing it yourself. I, I want you to witness it yourself. I want you to be there so you can see what we're talking about. And then you can go home and you can just try to teach your family to be better and not do the same things that the crooked are doing so um, and also you can have a better better perspective on things if you are hands-on you actually meet the people instead of listening to the news because the news are liars it just is um, I, I I won't interview with certain people ever again because because of their lies they twist things the prosecutors twist things it's it's the devil's way that's what he does um, and, and I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of that at all. So, um, anyway, so that's the update. No, no release for any of the guys today. All of them were denied. Ammon will probably be denied on Monday. So, um, but uh, we can still pray for a miracle. Now, this whole weekend, they have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to, when I say they, the prosecutors and the judge, to, to do whatever they can figure out to keep Emma incarcerated. So if we can pray super hard for, um, for the, only the truth to be exposed, then um, he'll be protected by, by the truth. So if you can help us in, in praying for that, that would be great. And then um, eventually we'll get the trial started and uh, we'll go from there. And then there'll be more updates. So thanks. Thanks for everything. Um, thanks for coming straight to the source and not believing the news outlets because the only thing they want is a story. And they don't care what lies they tell to get it. And uh, when I watch the news now, I'm reminded, I don't watch the news now, actually I can't, it makes me, makes me disgusted because there's a lot of things that don't, that don't tell me are correct. Um, just know that when you're reading the newspaper and you're watching the news, there's probably only like 3% of that story that's actually the truth. I know, because I've been that story before, so is my husband, so... Um, I, I thought about doing one more thing to tell you about how fun loving my husband is. When we lived in Arizona, he, he liked to um, make people laugh. He just was all about lightheartedness. And um, we had a friend who would, him and her were working together in a church calling. And she had come by, and her and I are really, really good friends. And she had a carload, a carload of kids in her van and she just had to run in real quick and talk to me about something well while she was talking to me Ammon got in her car and reversed it behind our gate this is in Arizona behind our gate and then he shut the gate and he told the kids you know hey be quiet you know I'm gonna pull, pull a joke on your mom and and so then he runs in and he's got the smirk on his face and I'm looking at him like what do you have going on what's up your sleeve and and then she goes okay better go and he walks out and he says Wait for it, Lisa. Wait for it. And all of a sudden, 
she screams and I mean we're talking Phoenix so it really is possibility of someone stealing your your car with all the kids in it and um, she's like oh my gosh my car is gone and then Hammond runs out there and he's laughing so hard and she's like oh Ammon and he's like it's behind the gate ha 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 anyways he's funny he's lighthearted we need to get these men home and he he he's so fun anyways um just another fun thing about Ammon just to get to know him a little bit more personal so, anyways, that's it. You want to say bye, Ems? Bye. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Oh, Brinkley wants to say bye, too. Bye. bye. <laughs> All right. Good night, bye. friends. Bye. I'll update you when I... Um... Del, you want to join my broadcast? What does that mean? Okay. I'm going to add you. I've never done this before, but he said he wanted to join my broadcast, so you want to go? Hey, Dill. Thank you. You wanted to join my broadcast? Uh, no, I didn't. Could you, I'm going to re re remove me, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, I apologize. See you. Bless you. Bye. Dill. God bless. I don't know how to remove you. Okay. I don't I, either. I think I did it. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Oh, there we go. Wait. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Anyways, have a great night. Make it the best you can. God has purpose in all things. So if um, our guys didn't get out today, then he, then there, he God has more work for him to do wherever they're at. So um, that's the way I like to view life. And uh, it's kind of helped me get through. And... Uh, uh, I know for sure that he's in charge because of all the many tender mercies and the wonderful miracles that we have seen and experienced during this. So keep praying for our guys, and eventually you'll see those pictures and cameras come rolling in of all of our guys um, being reunited with us and our children. So good night.